This is a throwback a question that the um, uh, guy on YouTube, my name is nobody, um, he asked me what a Hondu banjo was, but he, uh, his banjo he was playing was very similar to this, and that's why I threw the question at you. Um, this is actually a Hondu banjo. I think they were made, uh, initially they were made in America, uh, and then in later years they were made under license in uh, Japan and Korea, until I think they went bust a few years ago. But it wasn't actually a bad banjo, I mean it was a 24 bracket head, um, ply rim, you know, um, adjustable truss rod, um, nice bit of scroll work and mother of pearl on the, on the fretboard, uh, proper tuners, guitar tuners and a, and a geared fifth peg, so they probably weren't the most expensive banjo in the world, but they, you know, they were all, they were alright for a beginner's banjo, I think. But you know, this one's been a bit beaten out and uh, abused over the years. What I've tried to do with this one, I've um, wanted to try and play in D, but keep the same chord structure as open G. So what I've done, I've down tuned it. Now I don't know what that's going to sound like uh, in a band situation, but I wanted a more of a bass note out of it. So my top string is now a D, A, D, F sharp, A. So technically it's still an open D, but it's very it's very low, very deep, so you do get a quite a bit of buzz off of it, but I just wanted to see what it sounded like in practice like right? structure is because I'm very limited on my cording so I use parts of my hand to make a chord so on a C chord on a normal G tuner I would I would use that little little stump there and then cover two strings to make make a chord so uh, but normally I'll just play with one finger so well we'll see how it comes out next time I play and um, anyway thanks for watching <laughs>